Well, I thought we did a lot of good things um, at both ends of the floor tonight. Um, you know, they're, uh, I thought the way we moved the ball in the fourth quarter um, gave us an opportunity to get some extra shots. Ed Davis played an outstanding game uh, at both ends of the floor. Um, he made timely shots in the fourth quarter. Um, Zach Collins uh, held his own. And um, I thought Evan Turner really worked uh, worked hard on Durant uh, in the second half. So it was, uh, you know, obviously they're down some players, but uh, they're still a really talented team and it was a good win. You closed with those three guys you just mentioned. Uh, it's kind of rare. Is it just because they were going so well? Yeah, I don't know how rare. Uh, to be honest, we did it. Um, you know, it's funny. Last time we played Golden State, Zach and Ed didn't play much. And... Um, and they did tonight because things were going well for us. And, you know, it's a tough decision. I was debating whether to go back with uh, Farouk or Nurk, uh, but I thought those two guys, uh, Ed and Zach, deserved to stay on. And, and Evan was, I thought Evan was doing as good a job as you could. You have been leaning on them more in the fourth quarter late. And what is it about them that, that allowed them to gain your trust? And Ed and Zach in particular? Well, I don't know about lately. I mean, there was, uh, I forget which game it was, um, Minnesota game, you know, was a game that they finished. Um, they're just, I think they play well together. Um, they have a good skill set that complement each other. Uh, they have good defensive instincts. Uh, Zach's coming into his own as a perimeter shooter. Uh, I thought he made some really good passes in the second half. But, um, like I said, it's uh, it was tough because uh, Nurk and Nurk and Chief are are a big part of our team as well. So uh, games like tonight, it's a tough decision, but um, you know I'm glad it worked out. Terry, yeah, we're down in 16 to three in the first half. Does that set the tone? Um, I felt like, um, or we felt like, our offensive rebounding was going to be uh, an advantage for us, and they're not necessarily a, a good defensive rebounding team, so. We felt like the extra possessions were going to be important for us. Brooke, Brooke, hold it. Brooke, you got anything? You're a little frustrated with the defensive switching, communicating. Well, just uh, we had back to back, we had back to back uh, miscommunications on a couple switches, and we gave up dunks. And um, we don't necessarily do a lot of switching off ball, and uh, but Golden State puts you in positions that. Um, you know, you can make mistakes. So, um, yeah, there those the back-to-back -back dunks that McGee got were stands out. But they responded well. Yeah, uh, you know, I thought from a defensive standpoint, even though we gave up 107 or 108 or whatever it was, um, I thought we did we did a, a a decent job. We limited their transition. Uh, we rebound the ball well. Um, I thought we worked really hard on Durant. And hey, Durant only had 40. He had 50 <laughs> last time. <laughs> So. Terry, this is, this is nine straight wins and some good opponents <coughs> you beat. You must be flipping cartwheels after this. Uh, I don't think anybody's flipping cartwheels. Uh, I think we're, um, we're worried about uh, our next game. How do you feel about the streak? Uh, what streak? We're just <laughs> playing games. We're just trying to get wins. As close as the West is, um, you just got to keep getting wins. Is there an evolution for this team that you're not? Uh, I think we're all very much aware of where what the standings are, and there's not a team in that group three to ten that has the luxury to get too excited about it, anything one way or the other. Yeah. All all eight of those teams are are battling, and it's uh, there's not a lot of room to breathe.